morning, Diesel. And Sergeant. Where are you going, bud? Hey, the vlog is starting. Huh. That was kind of rude, eh? He just ran away from everybody. You guys scared him. Jeez. It's a happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you're relaxing and making it swell. I don't have too many plans for the day. Uh, we're going to be leaving to uh, to Regina again tonight. We're going to be taking our truck, just the truck, no trailer. So we're going to be bobtailing from Winnipeg in Manitoba over to Regina, our sister city, our neighbor city, on the other side of the Banjo Bowl. That's what they call it, or I don't know. Over there, those other people over there, we're going to go see them. And we're gonna pick up a trailer that's waiting there for me. Uh, they have a trailer there filled with stuff. We're gonna take that stuff inside that trailer over to Calgary, my favorite city. And we're going to uh, leave it there. What, what's the plan for that? I think we're gonna drop the freight there. We'll have an empty trailer there, and then we're gonna reload. And we'll probably be coming back east. I'm not too sure. It depends what they have for me. That's the day. We're only gonna be leaving this evening though, so. Enjoy our day first and figure out why Sergeant ran away here. What are you doing, Sarge? Sarge? Oh, somebody didn't make the bed. Come on, Diesel. That's what I pay you the big bucks for. Make my bed. <laughs> Works every time. Oh, he gets all excited. We're running. We're running. Why are we running? I don't care. Let's run. <laughs> this is why if he's ever hiding underneath my bed. And he won't come out for whatever reason, because he's not trying to answer to his name yet. Uh, he thinks he's in trouble, maybe? I don't know why he doesn't want to come out. I just run out of my room yelling, and he comes running after me. It's a trick you can use on your dogs. Truck and drawer stamp of approval on that one. So we're meandering our way through uh, Sunday morning rush hour here in Steinbeck. Seriously, it's rush hour every Sunday morning. Every Sunday morning and then every Sunday afternoon because everybody's got to go have lunch together after. <laughs> that's how it was. That's just always how it was growing up. It's just what happened, you know? Sunday morning, you get your butt out of bed. Sunday morning. Now that I drive a truck, I'm always gone. Not always, but a lot of the time. So when I am home, I try to make sure I get into town here and, uh, Participate in the craziness of Sunday in Steinbeck. If that's what you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. Sunday morning rush hour is what I call it. Oh look, someone's waving. Everybody wave. Morning. Top of the morning to you. What a friendly guy. What a friendly guy. Oh, they got a mascot down at the end there. What? Why is there a mascot at church? I think this place here can seat... Oh, I forget. What, 3,000? Is that right? Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. And they have two or three services a day on Sunday. This is Steinbeck. I go to the later one because I like to sleep in. I'm gonna go say hi to this mascot over here. <laughs> I'm gonna drive through this way and then we're gonna come back and look at him again all creepy like, all right? Because <laughs> I wanna know why there's a person dressed as a frog waving at people. Okay, he's over there on the left. You see, he's waving, everybody wave. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it in the service. I don't know. If I can find parking. Holy smokers. Parking, anybody? Anybody see any parking spots? Let me know if you see a parking spot. I think I passed a few already, but they were too tight. I don't want to ding my doors. You never know. Everyone... It's kind of excited to get here in the morning and they might be in too much of a rush to get inside and ding my door. That wouldn't be good. Oh geez, this is worse than Walmart on a Saturday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey -o. like a boss. I'll go this way. Look at this guy taking up two spots with his trailer. Nah, Oba. Oh, there's a spot right in the corner there. Yeah, we're gonna back in. Right in the back corner. Absolutely no reference or mention of why there was a person dressed up as a frog waving at people. Nope, <laughs> it still boggles my mind. Okay, maybe I'll figure it out later. I don't know. 
Anyway, we're just taking off now. We're leaving. I feel like getting a truck wash. Mm -hmm. My cousin's uh, boy is turning five today. I wanted to drop by there and say happy birthday. Not. First, I got to get out of this parking lot. This could be a challenge in itself. <laughs> this is Steinbeck rush hour. You sort of got to just be assertive and just give her, you know? Like that, just stick your nose in there and give her. Sorry. I'll go this way. All right. It's always a hassle <laughs> getting out of here. Everybody goes home or goes to lunch at the same time on Sundays. Well, it just isn't a Sunday morning without Timmy's. I should have gotten Timmy's before, but then I would have been late. I was already a little bit late. I thought the thing started at 11 or 11.15. Turns out it started at 11. I'm always late. I never get there on time. I miss all the music then. Oh, well. Timmy's! Timmy's! I'm surprised this drive through lineup isn't long. Boy, I must have been one of the first people out of the building because this is going to get packed right away. All right, so we just stopped by the post office here in Steinbach. When you send stuff to me, this is where it comes. Uh, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. There it is, Canada Post. Bureau de Post. Post Canada. That's the post office where I pick up my stuff. Uh, when you guys send it to me, one sec. Gotta be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I got three letters. There was three parcels waiting for me in there, uh, but they don't... They have to be open for me to pick them up. Uh, so they have little parcel slips in my little mailbox, and then I have to go here when they're open and pick them up. It's Sunday. They're not open. So I left those in there, and I'll pick up those parcels. Uh, well, I'm going to be gone for this next week. Maybe I'll get uh, one of my family members or something to come pick it up uh, so that they uh, don't get sent back. But we'll take care of that anyways. But I did get three letters here that uh, were in the mailbox. I got one from Mike in Cedarwood no, Ozark, Missouri. Ozark, Missouri. And one from Bradley in West Burke, Iowa. I have to open it up and see for sure. And someone sent me something by airmail. And it doesn't have uh, an address at the top here or whatnot, but. I'm guessing by that stamp that that is probably from overseas in the UK, maybe? I don't know what 97p even means. It wouldn't mean 97 pounds, would it? That's a lot of money. Isn't like 97 pounds more than $100 or something? It's like $150. That'd be an expensive letter! I don't know. Someone will explain to me what that means, 97p. Anyways, I'm going to open them up right now and uh, see what you guys sent to me. So the mystery letter here was from Troy, and I believe it came from overseas. Uh, looks like it has an area code, like Canada, but... Let me check again, let me check again. Newcastle? No, maybe that is in North America. Doesn't say the country. Anyways, I got your letter, Troy. It's right here. Thank you very much. You had a question for me in here. Do I miss my old truck? No. No. I like the vehicles I have right now. Uh, what is he says, when I grow up, my beard will look like my dad. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, wondering, uh, a lot of people wondering what's going to happen when Sergeant gets bigger. Uh, the inside of my truck is a lot bigger than it looks in the videos and in the cameras. And... Uh, the dogs are family. So what do you do when uh, things change and whatnot? You adapt. And we'll just adapt and we'll make room. Uh, I can sleep on the top bunk and I'll leave them uh, the whole bottom area if I have to and make it a nice soft bed for them down there. No laying on hard plastic or anything. That's a crazy idea. I would never do that. But we might. Uh, I'm also thinking of transforming my driver's seat into a bed for the night. It'll be like a little uh, little uh sort of like i have the passenger seat but it'll be more temporary i'll just put it there for the night so there'll be a bed on each seat plus the whole bottom area there will be lots of room plus we stop a couple of times a day let them run around and uh, at least once just get all their energy out get them really panting get them really tuckered out i like to do that as often as i can so sort of just like 
to get home, and they love it. They love it. When I say, like, even Sergeant already, when I say, hey, let's go on a trip or let's go in the truck, like, they just explode with happiness and joy, <laughs> like dogs do. They love going for rides, and they love companionship. They just want to be with their human. They get more upset and stressed out when I'm not there with them. Like right now, I went into Steinbeck today, this morning, and I left them at home. They don't like that. That's why I don't do it very much. I don't like leaving them alone places. Diesel has full reign of the house, and Sergeant is a puppy still in training, so he's got a nice big, uh, sort of like a caged in area that he can own and wander around in while I'm not in there. But, you know, as soon as I get home, they're jumping up and down with excitement. They just want to be with their humans. And so it's really awesome that I get to spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week with my dogs. I think that that's a great gift, and I really enjoy it. Anyways, let's uh, I'll open up the rest of these letters here, and thanks for sending me these things, guys. You know, uh, I always say you guys don't have to send me anything. I don't expect to get anything, but a lot of you have requested uh, a way of sending things to me, so that's the P.O. box right there. It's in the description of every single video on the YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on another platform, go over to my YouTube channel, my YouTube page, and don't forget to subscribe there so you don't miss a day. I make a new video every single day. And this right here is, uh, one sec, this right here is the P.O. Box. Exactly like that. Trucker Josh, P.O. Box 38, Steinbeck, Manitoba, Canada, R5G1Z1. And that's it. If you put that on the front of the envelope, it will make it to me here, and uh, I'll let you know I got it in a video. And I always, like like this letter here is like handwritten. You guys always handwrite them. I've only gotten like one or two letters ever that were actually typed out on the computer, and that's fine. It, it doesn't matter if you write them out or type them out, but it it's pretty cool that you guys take the extra time to actually write out a letter to me. I'm just blown away all the time. I'm like, wow, this thing probably took like 20 minutes to write. Wow, he really wanted to send it to me. And then he had to put it in an envelope, bring it to the post office, put a stamp on it, and send it to me. So that actually takes quite a bit of effort and time to send this to me, especially if it's coming from overseas. So always appreciate that. It always means a lot to me. It sort of humbles me, but wow. I just make videos on the internet, and there's people out there who care enough about me to send me something. So I mention it in the videos as a way of saying thank you. I wouldn't call you old... But, but what? But I bet you've been off puppy chow for a while. <laughs> Happy birthday, Josh. Wishing you the very best, Brad. Yeah, thanks, Brad. He sent me a little birthday gift here in the card as well. Thank you very much for that. And uh, sent me a letter along with this. Uh, he'd love to buy me a cup of Tim Hortons. He's from Vermont in the United States. I believe they have Tim Hortons. Hortons in Vermont, right? I don't go through Vermont that often. It's up there in New England, right? Or, pardon me if I'm wrong, uh, near New England. Anyways, Vermont, Vermont, Vermont. That's northeast. Yeah, it's right by Quebec, right? Bonjour. But you speak English, you're in Vermont, whatever. <laughs> uh, I have a great personality, sense of humor, and I've given Diesel Weasel a great voice. <laughs> I will give Diesel and Sergeant an extra scratch behind the ear for you, as you have requested. And it is not my birthday yet when I am filming this, but when you're watching this, it already has been my birthday. My birthday is April 1st. And thank you for the birthday card and the birthday wishes. I'm guessing those parcels that are still in the post office might be for my birthday as well. Those I'll be receiving after my birthday, but uh, they'll be just as special, and they'll be in the video when I do get them. God bless you always. Another birthday card from Mike. Mike, where are you from? Mike, uh, Missouri. 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 And it says, if you sometimes have the feeling you're a little out of touch, here's a greeting to remind you you're thought of very much. That prayers are being said for you in a warm and heartfelt way, asking God to care for you and bless you every day. Mike. He wrote a couple of other things in here too. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the birthday cards. I am going to hang them on my fridge. Thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to getting home next time during the week sometime when the post office is open to receive those parcels that you guys have sent. I'm curious what it could be. I'm not going to be thinking about that all week. <laughs> I'm thinking I might be back next weekend since it's my birthday weekend. 
it's my birthday this week, so I might, I'll be on the road for my birthday, like usual, and I'm thinking I might come back next weekend and celebrate it, maybe have some friends over, family, I don't know, we'll figure something out. My sister's birthday is actually today while I'm filming this, so happy belated birthday, Rose. This is a week late, I know. I should probably call you right now and give you an actual birthday wish in person on the right day, today. <laughs> it is her birthday today, and it is my birthday on the 1st, and it's my dad's birthday on the 24th of April. So three birthdays, bang, 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 within pretty much a month's time. So we usually do all of our birthdays together. And it's also Easter this weekend for you, so happy Easter. And we're doing all of that all at once, an Easter gathering, my birthday, my sister's birthday, my dad's birthday, so it should be a good one. Lots of food. My goodness, that's a dirty window again. Behind the dirty window is my pickup, I've got the tailgate down there. Diesel, what have you been doing with my windows? You got, you're a very good artist, man, but seriously. Seriously, man. Jeez. So we made it home again. Uh, went to my cousin's kid's fifth birthday party. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, now I'm just getting everything packed up. We're gonna bring it to the truck and we're gonna begin our bobtail journey towards Regina. I'd like to get to Brandon tonight yet. I don't know if I will. I'd like to stay at home, actually. That's what I'd like to do. But I know that it'll be a really hard day tomorrow if I stay home and start from here in the morning. So what's a guy to do? Guess I should get going a little bit at least. So let's get everything packed up into the pickup and let's make our way over to the truck. You like the beaver, don't you? That's Diesel's favorite too. Little beaver, he must be a Canadian. He's a German Canadian. Right, right? Oh, now you like that too. Diesel, what do you think? How's the day been for you? We made it all the way to Brandon, man. Brandon! Boy, that seems very interesting to you. Very, very interesting. Today, we made it to, you guessed it, Brandon, Manitoba. It was about a three hour drive from home and whatnot. And I'm tired, so I'm gonna park it here for the night. It's just what I do when I get tired, I park it and I go to sleep. How about that? Makes sense, I think. So the boys and I are gonna enjoy a good night here. They're both doing very well, both very excited to get the truck. Whenever I tell them that we're going on a trip and whenever I bring them like in my pickup. Drive 1.3 kilometers, then turn right on unpaved road. Right. I'm not moving. I promise. The brakes are pulled, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. We're parked here at the Husky. Husky Corner Store. There it is, there's the logo. Husky, right here uh, in Brandon. So what was I talking about before I was rudely interrupted for no apparent reason? The boys, yeah, when I bring them to the truck, they get so excited because they love going on trips so much. Sort of like me when I was a kid. Sort of like me right now, actually. Still am a kid at heart. Except I never was obsessed with squeakers. Neither was Diesel. I don't know why you're so obsessed with squeakers. I still need to organize my whole truck down here. It's not usually all cluttered like this. But, uh, I just put that there for now so that I can get his, uh, cage and whatnot up there. I know it looks smaller than it actually is in my truck. Uh, I know in the videos it, make, it looks pretty cramped and small in here. Uh, I can assure you in real life it's actually quite a bit more spacious. There's quite a bit of room in here for us. So, what I'm thinking of doing though is, you see how Diesel has his bed here like that? I'm thinking of doing the same thing over here. Uh, just for night, obviously not when I'm driving, but at night, I'm gonna build something that I can just sort of boop, fold out in there and then put a bed on top of there. And then there'll be another bed there. I can pull the steering wheel up a little bit. Either that or I'm gonna build something for here where I can, they can hop up there onto the top bunk or I can hop up there like a ladder or something because it's kind of difficult to get up there. I gotta figure something out, so we'll adapt, we'll learn, we'll make it work. That's just what we do. We make it work and we keep going. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you are not watching this on the YouTube page, go to my YouTube channel, Trucker Josh. You can just go and Google me. You'll find it. Subscribe there so you don't miss a video. I make a new video every single day. I miss one here and there, I'll be honest. But almost every single day, I'd say at least 
360 out of 365 days a year. We'll just say every day, just round it up. So don't forget to go subscribe to me there. Go down below to the description of the YouTube page. You'll find past vlogs of mine that you can go to all the way up to a year or more ago. You can see what I've been up to, where I've come from. You might get more of an idea of where we're going. I don't even know where we're going. I'm just going that way. That's all I know right now. And I have a new vlog up every time, every day, pardon me, I'm getting tired. 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. I will see you when I see you.